welcome to the Baiju's 9th and 10th channel. I'm your teacher Ankita and all of you are achievers. In today's class, we'll be discussing something really very interesting. As of course you can see from the title slide, we will be discussing whether bone is a living tissue or not. It's a very interesting question, right? Of course, when we talk about the bone, we know that it's really very hard. Now we have to find out whether it is a living tissue or not. So let's start our search, everyone. We know that that bones are really very important part of our whole body, right? Now, because of these bones, now that they come together and they form the skeleton, and our skeleton provides us the framework, right? And of course, onto that we have different added layers of the muscles and skins. So of that's how we are um, being made, I would say. So we know that bones are really very, very, very important. And when we look at the bones, right, we can say that ah, uh, they are kind of dead. Right, because of course they're really, very really hard, and so many other factors. But let's find out whether it's true or not. So, what we'll be doing to understand this whole process is to take a closer look at the bone. Now, of course, when we talk about the bone, they have a very hard outer structure, and inside that hard outer structure, we have a very spongy tissue, and that is a bone marrow over here. Very interesting, right? So, when we look at the bones outside, they're really, very hard and very stiff. But of course, inside they have this spongy tissue, which is the bone marrow. Now, this particular bone marrow plays a very, very important role in the production of RBCs by the process called as the erythropoiesis. Interesting, right? So, inside our bones, we have the bone marrow. Inside these bone marrow, of course, we will see there's a process will happen, which is the erythropoiesis, and after that process, we will see the production of RBCs. And we really know that that RBCs are really very important for our body. Now they are the one that carries the oxygen throughout the body, right? And they're really, really very important for it. Now that we are clear with this, let's understand that how our body sends signals and how our body is kind of aware about when we have to start the production of RBCs. We know that the RBCs has a lifespan of about one twenty days. So I guess this will be the biggest signal, right? Let's talk about it. So, if in our body the RBCs numbers goes down, what happens? Our smart brain actually recognizes this. Then it sends signals to the kidney, right, to prepare a very special hormone or secrete hormone, which which is the erythropoietin, right over here. Now this hormone will be acting and will be sending the signals and of course will be going and acting upon the bone marrow. And that's how it will get a signal in the bone marrow, right? The bone marrow will get a signal. Now it's time for them to start the production of RBCs. Isn't it super interesting how all of these are kind of working in coordination? So just in case if this oxygen level is decreasing in the body, this whole process will occur and of course we will see the production of RBCs. But inside this, also in bone marrow, we have some special cells. We call them as the stem cells. Now they are the one that actually makes or basically, we will look into that, but they are the one who is responsible for all the production of RBCs and different other cells. So we have these stem cells and we call the stem cells as the raw material in the body. Now, these stem cells are really very special. They will be keep on dividing and they have a very special power that they can actually become any other cell and can perform that specific function. So, these stem cells will be keep on dividing, will be becoming different cells and of course, will be performing different function. So, in our bone marrow, we have the stem cells. Now, once we have those signals from the brain and from the kidneys, hormone secretion occurs. So, We'll, we now know that stem cell will start a production of the RBCs. And that's how we have the production of RBCs, WBCs and the platelets. So all important three components right, that we have in the blood, the cellular component of the blood, apart from the plasma, are being made in the bone. So, I'm sure a question arises in your brain, right? How can be a dead tissue can make the living cells? So now we know that, that bones, right, bones, bones tissue, is not a dead tissue, it's a living tissue. So with that, I'm sure we have gained the knowledge that bone is a living tissue, right? Of course, we have talked about the bone marrow, we have talked about the 
process will actually help in the production of the RBCs, erythropoiesis, right? We have talked about the important hormones secreted by the kidneys. We have talked about the stem cells and how it works. With that, we can say that now we have the full knowledge about it. You can read more about it and you can write in the comment section below and you can let us know if you have any inquiries. With that, I will end my session. Before I end my session, I would request you to join the Telegram group. We have an amazing community where we post the session updates, write PDF of the session and so much more. So if you haven't joined the, uh, no, the Telegram group, there's a link in the description box below. Don't forget to join the group. Then, of course, we have this amazing examination, which is the ANTHE examination. If you are in class 7 to 12, of course, you can write this examination, not from 7 to 12. But maybe if you are in class 7th or 8th or 9th or 10th or 11th or 12th, you can definitely appear for this examination. The registration is absolutely free. Now, that's a very good thing. Talking about the free things over here, if you want to avail the Baiju's mini learning program, which are the super amazing classes we have, you can use the code YT first and if you use this code and if you are among the thousands user, you will be able to avail these classes. So the week have just started, right? We will still have time. So use this code YT first and explore these classes. With that, I'll say bye bye. You know that Baijus have got you covered and don't forget to hit the like button for the video. Share with your friends and subscribe to this amazing channel. With that, I'll say bye-bye, keep on learning with Baijus and stay safe.